In this video, I want to show you all how to get set up using the example project that is provided with the FPS plugin. Now, if you've been following along, you will know that the all the content that was provided before has been stripped out of the plugin and instead has been moved to its own example project here. Now, the reason behind that is everything's already set up, it's pre-configured, and it's good to go to get started. So the easiest way to go about doing this is come over here to the page. And if you already know what you're doing with GitHub, go for it. Just go ahead and clone. If not, easiest way is going to be hit the little drop down here for code and download the zip. Once you've done that, you will be met with this folder here and you can just click and drag it into anywhere. So in my case, I've already got it right here. I'm going to open it on up and when I go to launch it, you will be met with the project requires the plugin. So if you don't have it installed, then go ahead and install it. But in my case, I do not have it installed for this engine version. Now this project is on 4.27 and I will show you how to set it up for 5.0 here in a second. Now the way I recommend basically everybody sets this up, and this goes for any of your projects using any of my plugins, or really 90% of the plugins anyways, unless they're editor only, is to create a new folder in your project called plugins. Now inside of here, you want to bring over the actual plugin itself. So in my case, I'm going to also show you how to set it up with UE5, so I'm going to do it this way. I have mine installed to 5.1, so I'm going to go to that engine, engine, plugins, scroll down to marketplace, and here we have the ultimate FPS template. Now it might be named to ultimate FPS framework by the time you're watching this, but either way, process is the exact same. So you're going to copy that, or cut it, and paste it into your plugins folder. So now when you go to launch, even on UE4, you can go ahead and load it anyways, and just go ahead and hit yes. And after it's done building, it should go ahead and launch. Now, if you're doing this with the UE4 engine version of the plugin, it'll just launch just fine. You'll be pretty much good to go. But it's a little laggy as it's compiling shaders and other crap in the background, but everything is good to go. So you can go ahead and hit play and all that, and everything will go ahead and function. So there we go, finally loaded up, and everything's good to go. The only thing that needs to be done now is lighting needs to be rebuilt. So as to get the basic set up, go ahead and, and you're pretty much good to go. Now let's go ahead and switch this over to UE5. Okay, so I did the same thing again. I went ahead and copied everything over and just started from scratch, added the plugins. Now all you have to do is just right click, switch on your engine version, set it to 5.1 or 5, whatever it is, and you can go ahead and launch. Then, like you saw before, it goes ahead and generates all the folders and other stuff you need, such as your intermediates. And once it finished launching, you are pretty much good to go. So just like with the UE4 project, you're basically all good, set and done. The only thing you might want to do is, uh, again, this is kind of up to you, would be to do something like setting up Lumen, which is just a couple click process. But now that you're here, you have all of the content that you will need. So example M4, and you can use everything kind of as a reference to see how stuff was done. And yeah, that's it. You're pretty much good to go. So hopefully that was helpful and cleared up some things. And from here on out, I think we are ready to move on with the actual tutorial series. So I'll see you then.